No, I know I got a lot of gameplay on this map. That's really not the point. Today, what I want to talk about is the PS Vita price drop. At Sony's game conference yesterday, they just announced that the PS Vita will only will be dropping. They didn't announce the actual price, um, but they did announce that it will actually be dropping. And uh, I went on GameStop.com this morning as soon as I woke up, and the PS Vita has now dropped from... Two forty nine ninety nine to one ninety nine ninety nine. So it's a fifty dollar drop. And here are some questions that I have. <clears throat> here are some questions that I have. The PS Vita, brand new one ninety nine for Wi Fi and three G version, is one ninety nine. But the PS Vita recharge refurbished three G and Wi Fi version is two oh nine ninety nine. So the re so the used Vitas are costing more than the actual like regular Vitas, and also it's a pretty nice deal because with the Wi-Fi and 3G version, you actually get an eight gigabyte memory card in there, and it's only two hundred dollars. So that's actually a pretty nice deal. Sony should have been dropped the price of the Vita, but I guess with the PS4 coming out and that being like its main companion and its sidekick. That's probably the only reason why they haven't dropped it sooner. Another thing is that what I noticed that they also dropped the memory card prices too. A 32 gigabyte memory card used to cost $100. Now it only costs $79.99. I mean, it's a $20 drop, but I mean, it's still better than paying that $199.99. And also with the PS Vita, the bundles, the PSP bundles such as the Black Ops 2 bundle. Oh no, the B Black Ops 2, wow. The Black Ops Declassified Bundles, <clears throat> excuse me, the Black Ops Declassified Bundles, the Madden NFL Bundle, the Assassin's Creed Bundle, if you can still find that anywhere. All of the bundles that came out for the Vita are still $199, so they cost the same price as just the regular Vita. So all the Vitas now are $199. Now this is raising up some hype and maybe are going to convince a lot of more people to buying the Vita. I mean, I don't know. Me, personally, I have a Vita. I kind of regret buying it because it's a pretty suckish system. It's not that good. It could be better. There's not even that many games for it. I know The Walking Dead just came out. I'm probably going to have to pick that up. So, and then another thing is, I already, yeah, the memory cards dropped. The game prices, they dropped a little bit, but they're still like $24.99 and um, $54.99 and stuff like that. But what I'm wondering is, how much will you get to trade in the actual system? That's how much I'm wondering is. So I know now you can get $90 for trading in your Vita with um, all the rewards and um, power-up cards that they got going on now. You can get like 140 for trading it in. I mean, it's not that bad as GameStop users. They try to rip you off even more than that. But, so the PS Vita dropped. Let me know. You guys are going to be getting it. I know I'm not. Well, I already have one. That's the reason why I'm not. Basically, yeah. I'm trying to see, is there anything else that I need to discuss hmm yeah basically PS Vita dropped PS Vita price dropped basically and also another thing is I wonder if the PSPs are gonna drop as well because those are still ranging well no I think the PSP has already dropped the lowest that is gonna go cuz a new one 3000 is um ninety nine dollars and then a used refurbished one is um sixty five dollars the for the lowest price so let me know in the comments below if you guys are going to be getting a vita since the price dropped or if you still think that it's a waste of money but anyway let me know in the comments below hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little video peace